Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Today, we're gonna take a look at the all new Cat Brand Power Cube from Costco. This is the new upgraded one with lithium ion batteries. We're gonna tear it open to see, are they telling the truth about what kind of batteries are in it? We're gonna talk about the upgrades, we're gonna talk about the things they took away, and we're gonna see, is it worth upgrading from the old Ten point five pounds. This is the old lead acid battery. Four point seven pounds. Twenty five percent lighter. Well, this is more like sixty percent lighter. I'm blown away. I can't exactly remember how I took the last one apart. There's two ways to go at it. So I think we're gonna try behind the LED light first. Well, that's a no go. So last time I think the screws were hidden under these feet. Well, there it is. Or is it? We're gonna put this back together and we're gonna try the top, I guess. Just gonna see what we got for wires. There's our battery pack with no numbers on it. So here's the look. There are no numbers on this at all, but it does feel like there's one, two, three, four, I would say five cells there. So we got four inches long, just shy of four inches long, two and three quarter inches high and three quarter inch thick. And it turns on, so we didn't kill it. Let's put her back together. So input up here, up to 30 watts in theory. We're gonna use this PowerSmart power bank right there, which is at 84%. We're gonna charge like so. 15 watts USB, 24, 26. Can you see that there? 27 watts USB coming out. So we'll leave this for a while. We'll see how long it takes to charge. Hey, I'm back. I haven't finished the charging test yet, but I had another idea I wanted to test right quick. I've got these nice anchor five volt USB-C cables, heavy duty long, they'll charge just about anything. We're gonna plug this into the PowerSmart and then into here to see if I really only can use the cat brand cable. Plug it in there, plug it in there. There we go, a five volt USB-C cable from Anchor, no problem. We're getting 27 watts. If you haven't seen one of these before, I love it. It's basically like a multimeter or multimeter for USB-C ports, USB-A, USB-C. Plug that into the USB. Then you plug that into the output. And then you take something that's gonna pull some charge, like a power bank, 22 watts, 21 watts, something like that, 22 watts. It's almost a full size spare for the Ram 1500. PSI right now is at 8.4. We're gonna set it to 32, 8.2 up to 32 PSI into this tire and we'll see how long it takes. Here we go, 17.3, 24, 26. So it gets a 28.2. It has an auto shut off after 10 minutes, which is supposed to keep it from overheating. We're gonna bypass that, I think, and we're gonna keep going, see what happens. Okay, somewhere in the ballpark of about 12 minutes to go from eight PSI up to 32 PSI. The eight things that Cat did to make this a better product. I really like it when companies actually pay attention to the faults in their product and they improve them. People would ask me all the time, how do you shut it off? And I said, I'm not really sure. <laughs> you push the buttons in a certain order and they eventually shut off. It doesn't have an auto shut off. First thing I noticed on this guy right here, about 30 seconds of sitting idle, boom, it shuts off. Number one, they Im implemented an auto shut off. Number two, that's the old model, had an AC adapter, a proprietary AC adapter in order to charge it. I lost mine. I had to scrounge up an old one from my junk drawer. Everybody wanted to know, how do I get a new one? I wasn't really sure. So guess what they did? They went to the industry standard, 30 watt power delivery USB-C port. Number three, if you didn't notice, this guy's over 10 pounds. This guy's under five pounds. Number four, huge improvement on the booster cables. A tad bit shorter. Let me see if I can show you. Not by much, but a little bit. These are the old ones. Notice, just a normal connector. This one has the industry standard that has reverse polarity built in. So if you accidentally hook it up like a dummy and try to fry your vehicle, ain't nothing gonna happen. Five, they reduced the USB port. The old one had two USB A's and an unmarked USB C down bottom, and they were slower. The best I could get out of the USB C on this one was 10 watts. The best I could get for charging out of this was 20, but it would input, it would take almost 30 watts. So, and on this one, they still have one standard USB A but they have a USB-C, which is also labeled right there for PD, so you know it's gonna give you power. Number six, something I don't know why they put it on there, I think it was just a gimmick, wireless charging pad. They took it off on the new one, which helped eliminate some weight, and it was one more thing that you just didn't need. 
Seven, peak amperage. 1,200 on the old one, 750 on the new one. Need I say more? Other than the fact that neither of them will actually boost my Ram 1500. They'll do my wife's SUV. They'll do my son's compact car. Ram 1500. And then of course, the biggest upgrade of all, lead acid batteries in here. Lithium ion, light as a feather. What could they have improved on this? Two things. Number one, for the price of it, they should have put a bigger battery pack in there. It's got 41.7 watt hours, which isn't bad, but when you saw the size of that battery taking up almost no space in there, I mean, two more pounds worth of battery, wow. Or make a second one with an upgraded battery capacity. I would have been all over that, but I'm sure it was a price point issue. They wanted to be able to get it down to 99 on sale. The USB-C on this is a little bit finicky. It did not like anchor USB-C cables. It worked to charge it, pull power out. I couldn't get it to light up the multimeter, charge my Anchor Big Brick power charger. I used my Apple certified USB-C to lightning and it worked like a dream. So what are my final thoughts on this? I would say it's a great all-in-one solution for a small SUV, a compact vehicle, light as a feather. And if you can get it on sale for $99, grab it because it's a wonderful all-in-one automotive tool. And if you've stuck around this long, then that means I made this video for you and I got a bunch more videos. So hit the subscribe button, stick around and I'll keep them coming. And if you're looking for a more compact cat brand battery pack, then check out this link right here. I have a small lithium ion cat booster pack that I've used for a while in my wife's vehicle. And uh, if you wanna see the review, Click that one right there. And guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.